be revealed. And my God, I got the chills right there. That's the first time we saw that. They don't show us anything. It is. Oh my goodness, you see how excited everyone is. And we are moments away. Anyone beats him. Your Fortnite World Champion, Booga! Three million dollars richer. The biggest individual prize victory in competitive gaming history. Millions watching online, and folks, he didn't narrowly win. He absolutely took the best Fortnite lobby in history and taught him a darn lesson. Competitive Fortnite isn't going anywhere. Once season nine wraps up and we move into our next season, we'll be debuting the Fortnite Championship Series. This will give players a chance to compete against the best of the best, where every single result matters, with a leaderboard to track results over the course of the season. Follow your favorite players on their quest to become the first season champions with millions of dollars at stake. Now, this is just a taste of what's to come as we also plan on stepping up our competitive efforts across the board. So keep your eyes peeled for more news as you root on your favorite competitors in the back half of the matches. Golden Boy, Monster, back to you, gentlemen. Well, that's awesome. Baller's still rotating the low ground. Tifu making his way across. A lot of damage coming in. Only one thing in the inventory and 15 builds remaining. A tough spot for Tifu. He's so close to placement, but can he survive? The King with elimination. Player count continuing to drop. Bizzle, Takamura, Zayt picking up multiple eliminations. 30 players remaining. 29 to get closer and closer. Benji Fishy goes down. Tifu eliminated in the box. Kurtz picks that one up. Now we'll end Tifu's Fortnite World Cup. In the last game, he had the Shadow Bombs. Didn't really pan out for him because King, very thirsty, went for just all, all the water he could possibly get out of that one. And I say he, he certainly was quenched in his thirst. But then Tifu Zap now, him. this is, uh, sometimes you're flying and then you just become a magnet. And that is unfortunate. It's Clarity G who picks uh. up Tifu. Unfortunately, right there with one wall open from behind him. That's so Ladies and gentlemen, this cup is yours. One more time, your world champion, Booga! Dopiero do late game'a. Zobacz, proszę Jak bardzo. zeskakuje teraz na dwóch zawodników! Jakie to było fantastyczne, ale zero materiału, zero materiału, musi to wszystko podnieść. I zobacz, ile ma maców! 100 budowli może! 1000 maców na jego koncie! I teraz wchodzi na górę, no teraz co Buga robi? Teraz już wiemy, dlaczego jest pierwszy w tabelce. Jakże to była mądra decyzja, zeskoczyć na Ultimate Low Ground w momencie, kiedy ludzie się tak naprawdę przy sobie bili. Teraz ma 1000 maców, 6 małych, jedno ognisko i to jest właśnie to, to jest właśnie to mamy teraz pokaz dlaczego prawdopodobnie to była akcja od kogokolwiek w sumie na tym serwerze zobacz ile maców musiał zużyć high ground możliwe że ta akcja na górze pika kreo facz suk razem z nimi jeszcze w gierce zostali no buga piąta gierka jest w każdej grze konsistent możliwe że to ta akcja była warta 3 miliony dolarów bo to było to był moment, zauważ, że on nie wszedłby na tą górkę bo strefa jest na górze bez maców nie wszedłby tutaj zginąłby od burzy it's sundown. What's up? Thank you. Thank you so much, Golden Boy and Monster. And while we're here in the midst of the largest Fortnite event in history, you're probably wondering what comes next. Well, as we said before, competitive Fortnite isn't going anywhere. 
Once Season 9 wraps up and we move into our next season, we'll be debuting the Fortnite Championship Series. This will give players a chance to compete against the best of the best, where every single result matters, with a leaderboard to track results over the course of the season. Follow your favorite players on their quest to become the first season champions with millions of dollars at stake. Now, this is just a taste of what's to come as we also plan on stepping up our competitive efforts across the board. So, keep your eyes peeled for more news as you- Does manage to catch himself and maintain the high ground positioning here. We have some great players still left in this game, but Mongrel with four eliminations is looking for number five, and that was on Nate. We're now down to the final moments, top five monster. He had to fully commit there. Those are the maps that he needed. He's still in the game here. He's gonna go all the way for it, and that's a trade oh. with the to the face here! Huge elimination on Takamura! We're into a 1v1v1v1 1v1 1v1. top four players now. Mongrel in the ultimate low ground. Going up against a player! It's gonna be Boga! The game one winner will not be enough against Mongrel, who does get picked quite a bit. He loses a lot of HP. No more builds, but the victory royale goes to the veteran Som, who manages to pick up a massive win. Using the shockwaves in the final moments to snatch the high ground, Som claims a victory, but it's Mogro who had a ton of eliminations and really was the ruining factor for so Things are about to get real tough for wait a lot for of the people. edit. So they just wait, hop the ball it. and roll. Now, I don't think you can hold high ground from this early on. I mean, yes, high ground would be very good, but... This is going to be a long rotation if you're going to wind up making that happen. Black is up top for the moment. Uga, you see him soaring on cool. over with the shockwave grenade. Setting up, always getting ahead of the zone as far as possible. Pika there as well. And low ground, he's looking any chance to pop through when a player is not looking to get a shot in might be enough. Slus Mats, Slus Mats, one player below. Uga just staying ahead of this. Has only taken one score tick so far. Player up top fighting, player down low fighting. Can Booga make the impossible happen? Dodges the trap as well. Taking a little bit of score damage. Booga's gotta make it on in. One build left, drops on in. Booga, no! But either way, it's all good. He's Look. done what he needs to do. He knows how important that game is. Now we're in our top three. Pika up top. We were following him earlier on today. Pisis and Creo all the way down low. Zero builds in Pika's inventory. It's gonna be tough. He's gonna have to drop in and go for a fight. Cannot connect. Pisus finds that elimination. Creo gets the final one in game five. Goes to Creo. Absolutely ridiculous. Nine players left. Unrelenting is Booga. Hasn't dropped out of first since today started. There's all the remaining players. Running low on materials, but he still wants more. Four limbs in this game. Box set up for a moment. Pyramid comes through. Booga still alive. Shots going down. Can't connect with that one. One build left. The final moment of Fortnite roll. Oh Cup. my gosh. Bow Drop. down. Surprise. Bow down to Booga. Doesn't even matter. Four players, three players remaining. It's a fight out for the victory royale in game six. Two a left. One v one. Crew still in it. Teach up as well, back and forth, and it might come down to a heel off. Teach up dropping down those campfires. <laughs> we'll see here. Crew following it all the way in, and Teach up goes down. Crew. With yeah, the custom one, right? You're not no, custom, like, chat. For worlds. I'm gonna win yeah, a game of World Cup. Listen to me. I'm gonna win a game of World Cup, and I'm gonna homer guy. I like, I'm, trust me. I got you. you can guys. Have, like, I always One forget how many casuals are in chat. That's crazy. Next season, we'll be debuting the Fortnite Championship Series. This will give players a chance to compete against the best of the best, where every single result matters. With a leaderboard to track results over the course of the season, follow your favorite players on their quest to become the first season champions with millions of dollars at oh, stake. Oh shit! Now, this is just a taste of what's to come as we also plan on stepping up our competitive efforts across the board. So keep your eyes peeled for more news as you root on your favorite competitors in the back half of the matches. Golden Boy, Monster. For me, do the whole thing. He's buying. I'm going to tell you right now.
and there's the dance. I don't know what that is, but that's I'm gonna bet his dad if he's got moves like that. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. Booga hasn't moved, as we'll probably need security to get him to leave this arena. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up again for Booga, your new August 1st, all will be revealed. And my god, I got the chills right now. That's the first time we saw that. It didn't show us anything. It is. Oh my goodness, you see how excited everyone is. And we are moments away from the final game. Everything that's happened. You see the leaderboards, you see how far it is. Your Booga, you're up by so much. What's the rest of the game? up his sixth elimination. Creo, Rux, Booga all on the low ground. Bella EU oh, all player, One player just shot down. the height. It's still some up top. Still got it. Same floor as Creo. 1v1 up top. 1v1 on the bottom. Stuck in the box. Big hits. Back to back shots. Booga picking up another elimination. Booga is insane now. Almost going to be his game to win. We'll see here another one. Can he find? The ninth elimination and the first victory royale, the World Cup solos. Dr. Lupo, it might be time soon. It might be time soon. Booga, Booga smiling. He's got the health advantage on Creo. He does. Folks, it might be time for the shockwave play. Booga could soar up into the sky. Go for it. Here it is. Shockwave to hide. Shots coming in. No elimination yet for the first game victory royale. Oh, my gosh. Confident play from Booga. What a monster, the first victory royale. The crowd, but there's no one going to be there. There's a person all the way above him, knocks the structure down, and the player does manage to catch himself and maintain the high ground positioning here. We have some great players still left in this game, but Mongrel with four eliminations is looking for number five, and that was on Nate. We're now down to the final moments, top five monster. He had to fully commit there. Those are the maps that he needs. He's still in the game here. He's going to go all the way for it, and that's a trade off. Oh. Top four players now. Mongrel in the ultimate low ground. Going up against a player. That's got to be Booga. The game one winner will not be enough against Mongrel, who does get picked quite a bit. He loses a lot of HP. No more builds. But the victory royale goes to the veteran Psalm, who manages to pick up a massive win. Using the shockwaves in the final moments to snatch the high ground, Psalm claims a victory, but it's Mongrel who had a... Now, player goes down inside the box, can't quite get in, one right behind outside, can't find a beat. Issa goes down, placed in fourth, a 1v1. Dubs, the ultimate high ground, the crowd cheering behind him, looking to see if he can capitalize on this advantageous position. Down low, it's Skype for Skype. A little bit of a build off between the two, layering defensively against each other, but Dubs, no builds. One build. The flint knock to save him on the drop might be the play just outside ahead of the build. Maybe can catch himself. Oh gosh, he 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 around inside the storm. This might be it. Shockwave into the flint knock, into the safe zone. Doubling back, another one. A valiant effort. He's got to find a beat, but he won't be able to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, game two goes to Skite. Skite had 27 health left. 8 HP. If he took one hit from the storm, he was dead. But he clutched.